think about it this way. If you're 30 years old right now, give or take a few years, how much has changed in the past 10 years of your life? So I'm about to be 32. I'm closing in on that age. And so I've been in my 30s for a couple of years now. And as I reflect on how I've grown, how I've changed in the past 10 years since I was 22, I'm living a completely different life. Since 22, a few things that have happened that have been pretty major. I left college or graduated from college, started a career, went in that career for five years, totally changed careers, left to start my own business, then joined a company to do full-time coaching with them in the same profession I was in with my career, but in a different kind of role. At the same time, going through all of these things, I met the woman of my dreams who I married, had a child with, moved across the country a thousand miles away with to another state, obviously, moved back, had kid number two, and uh, now I'm still working on doing a lot of different kinds of things. To say I'm a different person is an understatement. I am a totally different person. Every aspect of my life is different. In fact, when I left college in May of 2013, I was about 40 pounds, maybe more than 40 pounds heavier than I am right now. Yes, more than 40 pounds heavier than I am right now. And I can tell you, it wasn't muscle. I am healthier than I've ever been. I don't drink anymore. I'm married. I've got kids. I'm making content like this. I mean, a lot of this stuff I never even imagined a decade ago, but I'm doing it. I never imagined a decade ago that I'd be coaching entrepreneurs. I never imagined a decade ago that I would have the opportunity to travel the country and speak to organizations that are paying me or have paid me thousands of dollars to speak to their groups. Like I could not have imagined a decade ago that I would have a book published. This one, Attract Your Potential. I couldn't have imagined a decade ago that I would be thriving in my life to this point. Now, if you're 30 or around 30, around my age, and you're thinking to yourself, yeah, but JJ, I'm just not where I thought I would be by now. Like when I was in my early 20s, I thought by 30, surely I'll be a multimillionaire and have a massively successful business and have a yacht and a private jet and all of this stuff. And I'm joking a little bit because that's kind of, the thing that people look at when they see Instagram or some young people that have have jets and boats and yachts. And you might think, Oh wow, that's crazy. How'd they become so successful? Well, first of all, let's take a quick pause and ask ourselves, what is the definition of success? It's going to be different for everybody. So maybe for those people that feels like success to me, that's superficial success to me. True success is doing work that you love in a way that serves other people. Tremendous value. When you can live your life in a way that adds value to the world, that brings more light and love and joy and passion and excitement and good energy to more people, that to me is success. And the milestones along that journey are exciting and fun, but they're only that. They're milestones on the journey to becoming the best version of yourself. And I say this to make the point that my friend, no matter where you're at today, even if you feel like you're not even close to where you thought you would be by this age, you got a lot of time in front of you. Think about it this way. As much as you've changed in the past 10 years, think about how much you can change in the next 10 years. Think back 10 years ago. Where were you? Who were you? What were you like? What was life like? And how does that compare to where you are and what you're doing today? Put yourself 10 years out down the road from now and think about how much different you will be then. I mean, it's really easy to underestimate how much we're actually going to change. To me, I think my life's going to look completely different than it does today. I know it's going to be better. I have aspirations that it's going to be way better in many different kinds of ways. I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to be more fit. I'm going to have a better relationship with my wife. My kids are clearly going to no longer be an infant and a toddler. They're going to be much older, a decade older, and I'm going to have a different kind of relationship with them. We're going to be doing different things. And I just know for certain that life's going to look different and truthfully, Who knows what I'll feel is success at that point in my life. Like 10 years from now, maybe I'll say, gosh, I'm not even close to where I thought I would be by now. But at the end of the day, I'm okay with that because when I look back at how far I've come, my gosh, I'm a way better human. I'm healthier. I'm more fit. I'm more vibrant. I'm doing more work that I love. And I've got an amazing relationship with my wife. I've got beautiful kids and Who knows what life's going to look like in 10 years, but what I can know for certain is that a lot is going to look different over the next 10 years. And if you can be hopeful about what life can look like over the next 10 years, about 
how much you can actually accelerate your achievement. Because look, I'm not the person that's going to say achievement's not important. Achievement of goals is very important for me. Hitting certain milestones is very important for me, but I don't tie my sense of fulfillment and joy and love and meaning in my life to if I've, whether or not I've hit a milestone at a particular age. Now, sometimes I can get caught up in that, but what I know for certain is that over the next 10 years, I have a chance to grow exponentially greater than I have over the last 10 years. Because think about what all you've learned over these past 10 years. You've learned so much in the past 10 years that you can now take and use and leverage to accelerate your success over these next 10 years, to catapult yourself even further ahead, even faster. Now, again, I'm not here to suggest that your success in life is about achieving more in a shorter period of time. That can be a fun thing. All I'm suggesting to you is wherever you are today, you absolutely, if you keep working on yourself and keep putting in the reps and keep making the effort and sustain that effort and stay motivated and stay positive and stay hopeful and optimistic and in faith that if you keep doing the work, great things can happen. If you keep doing that, then great things can happen and you can do amazing things in this world with your life. And I know that you're called here to do amazing work. I know that you are made to do amazing things, to serve humanity in a big way. And I just want to encourage you to dream bigger, to build a vision in your head of what your future can look like in the next 10 to 15 years that's even bigger and brighter than you ever could have imagined before. Because the more you can expand the vision in your mind, the more you'll feel excited and positive and have this great energy rolling through you that will allow you to keep going in a joyful, cheerful, expectant way to turn your dreams into reality. And in that process, I think there's a lot of joy that happens, not just internally for you, but that joy will come through you and go out into the people around you. So you'll be able to inspire and encourage hope and positivity in your family, in your friends, in your community, in the people that you lead, in your team members, in the clients that you serve, in the people who are leading you. So my friend, I just want to encourage you to keep going, keep doing great work in this world, keep chipping away. And the question of the day, what is holding you back from dreaming bigger about what's possible for your future in the next 10 to 15 years? I want to know. What is it that you feel is holding you back from having a bigger, better, brighter dream in your future? Please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to answer um, some thoughts and share feedback. But first of all, what's getting in your way? What is holding you back mentally, emotionally from truly believing that more is possible for you? And no matter what you're going after, my friend, wherever your dreams are today, just keep going. You can do it. Make it happen.